Hi everyone, welcome to Carter's House. Today we're going to be wrapping the handlebars of the R12. So the R12 is finished. Um, now we're just going to be wrapping the bars. I've never actually wrapped handlebars before in my life. So this is the stuff that is going to be the finished bar wrap but I bought this one just um, to practice with okay so this is the third time I've wrapped the bars now um, I've used the figure of eight method um, twice in a row now I've got approximately to there the first time I was pretty much just around the bend and it was a bit uneven but this time it's done okay. The figure of eight took me uh, like half an hour of trying to work out how it was wrapped. Because I'm watching a method, but they're actually wrapping the other bar. So, um, and they do it really quickly. So I couldn't work out which way around they were going. Probably do a couple more on this side. And then I'll wrap the proper tape round. Alrighty, so attempt number four. The way I'm doing it is starting underneath and wrapping towards the inside of the bike when i get to here then we come over around back around here back around there over the top and then wrap towards the rider okay that is go number four so i'm pretty exact on my wrapping now even though there's a bit of a gap if i pull the hood back you'll see it doesn't matter so that's it with the hood pulled back see so there's no gap there no gap there no gap there. So I'm going to put on this side of the real tape now. Okay, so I've just cleaned the bars up with some meths and now we're ready for the HD holographic reflect bar tape. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so that is my first ever go. I'm just gonna fold this over and put in the bar plug and then we're gonna start on the other side. But um, I've saved this side till last because we've got the charger here so I can't tuck it in so I'm gonna to have to start a little bit differently okay the bar end plug is in something maybe I can improve on I've got a little lip sticking out the bottom there but that's actually not bad for a first go look at that <laughs> actually really good I'm really impressed with myself that's my fifth time so four practices and one for real wow Okay, this is my first time at doing this side. So basically we start right at the end, round once, and then weave it up and finish about the same distance. I don't know, I'd have to check the logo on the front. No, I'm too far in on that side. But this tape might be longer, so that's not a bad first effort. Some of the wraps are a little bit close, but the figure of eight went okay. That could be better. This one, but other than that, that's not too bad. So another two or three goes. Yeah. This is the next go. Um, I seem to have improved that a little bit, although there's a teeny gap there. But I've put a mark here, a bit of electrical tape that tells me where I've got to stop. And um, that was pretty much exact that time. So, OK, I'm undecided on this side whether to wrap it over the end and trim it back like this. Or I can wrap it round and trim it back like this. Mm, I'm thinking that looks a bit rubbish, but it does give a good wrap. That's the point. I'm not sure. I'll have to decide. But it's time to fit the proper one now. So let's crack on. Okay, everyone, we have finished. It is now uh, local time 4.35. I started at 2 o'clock. I'm not going to lie, so all that practicing, all that wrapping has taken that long. So, that is the whole bike built. I'll take it outside, and then that's the end of the build series. Okay, total bike weight is 8.56 kilograms. It's going to be heavy because of my 88mm rim and my 60mm rim. Okay, let's get the bike on the stand outside. Before I take it outside, thanks for watching the build series. It's been great. I've uh, learned a lot on this one. 
if you like the channel give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next car's house look out for the finished video now bye